Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today we return to the topic of turntable cartridges for DJs. Now I can already see the comments starting to flood in down below. People saying, oh, this is all gonna be dead soon. Can't wait for Face to come along. No more cartridges for me. No more replacement styly for me. Yeah, I get it, right? I love new technology, I really do. But the truth is, this stuff is not going away anytime soon. There will always be DJs who prefer to use their DVS setup with a regular control record and cartridge and stylus. There will also be DJs like myself who also enjoy doing regular vinyl sets. So look, cartridges, styluses, they're not going away and it's important that we have companies out there supporting this technology as we move forward. Now, one of those companies is Autophon. Now, Autophon completely redesigned their whole Concord line earlier this year. I reviewed them, fell in love with some of them, particularly the red digital version. This is my favorite. I do love this one. But the OM range is a bit more of a throwback. This is the head shell mounting versions. And what they've done, they haven't redesigned them and completely redeployed something different. What they have done is kind of shrunk down the line. We now have three different models available and they are still fully compatible with all your older Concorde and OM cartridges that you might have had in the past. So why have they done that? What's the point? And how good are they? Let's get into it. It's been around six months since I reviewed the new Concorde Mark II range of cartridges from Autophon. They were a big departure for the company, with a complete redesign after decades selling effectively the same body type across their whole Concorde and OM ranges. At the time, I did question why they weren't also offering an OM head shell mounting version of the Mark II, as a lot of DJs either prefer or need that kind of cartridge. Personally, I'm a fan of the all-in-one plug-in style of carts like the Concorde. There's no faffing around with those tiny cables or alignment. They are the definition of plug and play. They are designed to fit the standard H4 bayonet mount, also known as the SME mount. That's the one that you'll find on all regular DJ turntable tone arms. But if you already have a certain type of head shell that you want to keep using, the custom smoking shells head shells I reviewed a while ago, for example, then you'll want an OM. And at the time of this review, there are no tone arms for portable turntables which feature an SME mount. So what solution do Autophon have for those DJs? Well, it turns out they've not gone for a redesign and instead have consolidated the original OM range. At the start of 2018, they had not far off 10 varieties of OMs and now they've cut that down to three. Why no Mark II? Well, only Autophon can really answer that, but from my perspective, the most important upgrade to the Concorde Mark IIs was the replaceable finger lift, which is obviously not an issue with OMs. And keeping these legacy models in the current range does mean that users of all the older OM and Concorde carts should find a ready supply of compatible styly in retail channels. So it does kind of make sense. At the lower end, they have the OM Pro S. I remember when I worked in DJ Gear Retail nearly 20 years ago, the OM Pro S was the standard cart we would supply with all the turntables we sold, and for good reason. It's a real all-rounder, offering decent tracking performance and excellent crisp sound quality for the price. It has a recommended tracking force of 4 grams, frequency response of 20 hertz to 18 kilohertz, and street price is around about $50 for the cartridge and stylus without a head shell. Output voltage is 5 millivolts, by no means the loudest, but still perfectly good for both DVS and regular vinyl use. I've owned a bunch of Pro S carts over the years, both OMs and Concords, and I've always found them to be reliable performers. They're durable too, taking plenty of abuse before you eventually need to replace the stylus. A quick side note on the head shells that you're seeing here. They are the SH4s, which Autophon sent me as they're offering all of these OM carts pre-mounted on them. That adds around $30 to the price of each, with the OM Pro S pre-mounted, for example, selling at around $80. I suspect a lot of you will be older heads like me, who are suspicious of any head shell which doesn't look exactly like the Technics one, but actually I found myself really digging the HS4. It's nice and stiff, which helps the sound quality, and the finger lift is quite a lot higher than on a Technics shell, which makes queuing records a simpler affair if you're clumsy or drunk. The flat, open design also makes fiddling with the cables a little bit easier too. My guess is that the majority of people buying OMs won't be looking for a head shell too, and if they were, I'd really suggest they just buy Concords, but if you are, then the SH4 is an excellent choice. Moving on then, we have the Qbert. Designed in conjunction with the turntablist Don himself, there's not really a lot new to say about them. They're designed entirely with cutting and scratching in mind, with a crazy loud output at 11 millivolts, and tracking performance is superb once they're broken in. They're designed to track at 3 grams for low record wear, and you definitely need to keep them around that range. I found that once you get up to 4 grams and beyond with the Qberts, it does have a bit of a negative effect on the sound. If you're the kind of DJ who likes to slam their weights right in, I wouldn't recommend the Qberts at all, certainly with real vinyl at least. 
The sound profile is quite unusual. There's a ton of warm bass, the mids are really hot, and they're rolled off a little bit at the top end. For my Vinyl 45 sets, they weren't my favourite of the three models, to be quite honest, but they are designed with a specific purpose in mind, and if turntablism is your bag, the Qberts won't disappoint at around $80 each. Finally we have the Scratch, formerly available in a bright neon pink colour, Autophon have now switched that out for white with blue accents. I've got nothing against a bit of hot pink, but the old colour scheme really didn't match with anything else on the market, so I think the new look is a definite improvement. They track at 4 grams, have a pretty loud 7mV output, and on paper have the most limited sound of the three models, with a frequency response of 20Hz to 15kHz. That might be down to the reinforced suspension, which I suspect makes them a little bit less compliant than the other models, but does certainly help with tracking performance, which is superb. I was never a huge fan of the sound of the Scratch in the past, but if memory serves I was mostly playing house with them at the time, and the type of music you play will definitely have an impact on how you feel about a cartridge. But doing 45 sets with these today, spinning hip hop, funk and reggae, I got on with the sound profile much better. Lots of bass, clean top end, and not too much of a boost in the mids. Overall, at around $70 per cart, they're a great choice if you need a balance between top notch tracking and a nice well rounded sound, and they're the best of the three models for DVS use in my opinion. Some housekeeping to finish up with, I've added recordings with all of these OMs to my dedicated SoundCloud page for cartridge reviews. Search for Mojax DJ City on there, and you'll be able to download normalised WAV files for each of these and more to judge the sound for yourself. And as I did with the Concords, I also took the chance to mix and match different styli on different carts, with equally surprising results. As you can see in the stock configuration, the outputs follow the specs. The OM Pro is quietest, and the Qberts are the loudest, but put a Qbert stylus on a Pro S cart, then you actually get a quieter output than a scratch stylus on the same cart. So yes, they will all work with each other, but there are some differences in the carts themselves which will affect the sound. Tracking is generally as expected with each stylus though. So there you go, a good look at the Autophon OM range of cartridges as it stands at the end of 2018. Truth is, I've kind of moved on. I've really fallen in love with the Concord Mark IIs, in particular here, the red digital one. For me, the sound quality, tracking performance, output volume, everything is just perfect. But that's not going to apply to everybody and there will always be some DJs who want or need a head shell mounting option. So it's great that Autophon are keeping these three on the market. They've stripped the range down, you know, three classic models, the budget OM Pro S, really a great entry level cartridge. The mission focused OM Qbert, of course, a classic in its own right and still used by loads of turntablists today and the Scratch, which has grown on me a lot, and not because of the colour change. I think when I was using Scratches in the past, it's because I was playing like house and stuff, and I didn't really like the sound with that, but now I'm doing 45 sets. Yeah, I get on with the Scratch a lot better than I used to. But overall, this is great that they're keeping that original body design on the market. It means that getting a replacement stylus to go with your original Concords or OMs will be very easy to do because these will be in those retail channels. So overall, yeah, it's a great addition to the lineup. For me, the Concorde Mark IIs still kind of win though. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribed and hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.